Hey, hopefully everything's going good. Things are going well here with Leon. So basically, I just kind of want to give you a little video of us doing some training together. See where he's at. Leon Hill. Come on, Hill. Good boy. So this is us transferring to off leash. Leon Hill. Come on. Good boy. Hill. Good, good boy. Now as we get better with this, we're gonna say fewer and fewer commands. Good job, Leon. Um, so so right now we kinda, I'm, I'm okay with saying heel a lot of times. Leon, heel, come on. If he gets out of position, good job, buddy. Leon, down. Good boy, good job. Leon, place. Good boy. So, so this, what happens here, like as we do this and we re repeat it more and more and more, he learns how, how to do it with more and more distractions. So we start bringing in other dogs, we bring in other people, and then once we get the distraction really high, that makes you able to take him and lead him into social situations. So, so what this looks like, you know, you take him to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want to take him and just have him obey you for the first little while. So he doesn't have to worry about people come up to him, coming up to him or anything like that. He needs to worry about healing, downing, waiting, sitting, and coming. Now, if you do that enough, he becomes desensitized. Then we kind of move into like a classical conditioning phase of the training where um, we actually start giving him food rewards and stuff like that. So one, we gain control. When we gain control, we gain relationship. So after, after we gain relationship, then, then we change the way that he perceives like potentially stressful situations. But what I'm seeing is a dog that's learning very well to be able to deal with stress and anxiety and different social situations that would have otherwise really set him off. So hopefully you have a good weekend and I will talk to you later.